Hi guys, it's Abby. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you're new. Today is going to be my shot my stash for August. So, uh, is it August? Yeah. <laughs> I had to think what month comes after July. I'm going to be going over the stuff that was in my rotation for July and then picking the new stuff for August. If you haven't seen any of these, basically I am doing a project pan. Um, I'm going to try to use up or hit pan on 20 items in 2020. And along with that, I'm doing a shot my stash series. That way I can kind of focus on specific things, try to use up instead of just randomly using things, hoping that I happen to use some stuff up because I'm not picking 20 specific products. And also I'm trying to get use out of some older things in my collection as well. And also while not neglecting the new things, while trying to use the old things, it's complicated. <laughs> so I'll be going over the stuff in my July shop my stash. So the foundation that I had picked is the Anastasia Stick Foundation. This is all that's left. I don't know when this is done. I don't know if I'm going to try to like scrape it out because there's always more product down in there. I really, this foundation I don't think is worth it, honestly. I, so it used to not last very long. Like it would kind of separate, especially like around my smile lines and stuff. And then I switched setting sprays and it lasted perfectly fine. So I'm like, oh, maybe it was the setting spray. So I'll have to test that some more and see if that's a common problem with that setting spray or just with this foundation, I don't know. And then I had the Kat Von, the, this was Kat Von D when I bought it, but it's KVD powder foundation. And I honestly don't have very many uses left of it. I need to repress the powder, but I just can't use those two foundations together. So um, it would be like way too cakey if I did that. And then actually, uh, spoiler for my project pan video, but I used up the ColourPop Fair 04 concealer. This is like all empty and scraped out. And I switched in the Fair 8. Yes, Fair 8 concealer. And this, it's been sitting upright and I didn't use it today. And it is like way down to here. So there's like not much left of this one either. I had in the ColourPop translucent setting powder. So if I kind of, I'm not really trying trying to use this up because I really don't want to run out of, of setting powder but this is about like halfway I mean I don't know if it was full to the top to begin with I really only use this to set under my eyes so I don't use much of it at all and then I had in this physician's formula mineral wear mm, talk free mineral face powder and I did hit pan on this so this counts as one of my pans for the project. And I'm just discovering that I don't really like this as much because it makes my makeup really cakey because I can kind of like just keep packing it on and it's the color is just a little bit off. So it makes me um, oxidize a little bit faster. And the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, I actually did not use this one much at all just because I had another bronzer in here. So this is pretty much the same progress as I had last time. I was using this ColourPop bronzer in Private Party and this is in my Project Pancelled. So I'm doing that project over on Instagram if you want to go follow me on there. And I think I'm doing bi-weekly, like every two weeks updates um, if I have any progress to show. But I kind of, there's like the tiniest dip ever in this. This had hard pan on it. And once I scrape that off, it's kind of going a little bit easier, but uh, it's not very pigmented at all. So, and it's like really densely pressed like their eyeshadows. So it's really hard to use. So um, I don't know if I'm going to put up with using that because I can see now that it has hard pan again. So and then slowly working away at this Milani Luminoso blush. I, this, I don't think this is going anywhere <laughs> anytime soon. There is, there is a little bit of progress on the side here, but it's a not, not a significant amount. And I had in here the Juice Beauty Orange Blossom blush. So something weird happened with this today. I, I wore this um, underneath of my foundation today. I used it with my sponge and when I pressed, I like pushed a little bit too hard into it with my sponge and like red dots. It looked like it was bleeding. It was so weird, but I don't know if that was just the pigment or if it was like liquid from the sponge coming out or what, but that was um, a little odd. And there is a big dip in this though. I just wanted to get some use out of this because it is a cream product and I've had it for a little while. The batch code on this says D16. I really hope that does not mean December 2016 because it means this is uh, four years old. And then I had in here the Ofra Pillow Talk highlighter. So I did, I only used this a few times. I used that um, ColourPop highlighter, but this one doesn't take very much product at all. So I would not see any progress on that. And then I was using this ColourPop highlighter in the shade Silvu Play. 
if I'm gonna be able to see that because it's kind of bright, but there is a pretty big dip in the middle. I just use a really fluffy eyeshadow brush to apply that and um, it's making a fluffy eyeshadow brush sized dip. And then I had two palettes in here, so I was using these ColourPop singles and then I was using the e.l.f. Opposites Attract. So I just posted recently a three looks one palette with this if you're interested. I did make some some dents. I wouldn't say I don't call them good, but dents on like these orangey kind of shades there. I do want to get more use out of this though because I do like it. It's just quick and easy because it's, this is the only like neutral-ish palette that I have. I forgot to mention this in the last video, but I was using the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Teaspoon. It's, it's a bright green. There is quite a bit left and I don't want to roll it up in case I break it. This is in my Project Pancelled project pan, so I doing updates on that on Instagram. This is hard. I've only used this like five times um, since I since I started, you know, trying to use it up and uh, it's not going anywhere fast because I don't have like very really any green eyeshadows. I mean, I have that new one that I got from Clarity Cosmetics, but it's like a really shimmery green. So I might try to do a look with that. I don't know. And I had two lipsticks in here. So I had the Ofra Staten Island lipstick, which is this one. And then I had the ColourPop Beeper liquid lipstick. So this Beeper, actually, I've used this quite a lot, just like be since I've gotten it. And when I apply it, I can feel like it might be used up soon-ish and probably sooner than any other liquid lipstick that I have. However, I decided to stop putting liquid lipsticks in this project and then my shot my stash. And I've started a new project with lipsticks. I'm going to use each of them 10 times and just to see which ones I want to keep because if there's a lipstick that I don't particularly like, I'm not going to make myself use it 10 times. So I figured that's a good way to go about that. So I've got this paper and I just kind of fill in the little dots every time I use it. All right, so now on to the stuff for August. So I am going to keep the the ABH stick foundation and try to use it up. I'm only, only thing is with this, I might not be using it much because I have some videos planned that would require me to wear other foundations. So I may not make much progress on this, but on the days that I'm not testing for that, I will use this. Also keeping in the what is it, KVD foundation, try to use this up as well. I don't know if it's gonna work. And then I'm gonna keep going with the ColourPop Fair 8 no filter concealer. There's not much left in it at all. The only reason I think that I used up that other concealer so fast is because I kind of put it on as a base layer for the powder foundation. So if I do that with this, it'll be gone really quickly. And I'm keeping the ColourPop no filter setting powder. And then I'm going to switch out the Physicians Formula powder and get the, the e.l.f. Beautifully Bare Sheer Tint Finishing Powder. And I did use one up already this year, actually in June. I had a backup, so I'm going to start going through that. And I'm going to keep in the ColourPop Private Party Bronzer just to keep going with that, especially because it's in my Project Pancelled. And I'm also going to keep the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in there as well. And I'm swapping out the Milani Luminoso blush because I'm honestly tired of looking at it. So I'm swapping in this e.l.f. Primer Infused Blush in Always Cheeky. And also this one from Root that I have not used much. I did a, a video reviewing these not too long ago. I don't want to dump it like I did in the last video, but um, I just want to get use out of these two because I feel like they're kind of neglected because they're not really my oldest products. They're more newer. So kind of like I was talking about in the beginning where I don't want to neglect my new stuff either. And then I'm going to keep in this ColourPop Silvu Play highlighter since it's in my project Pancelled. I'm putting in this e.l.f. contour palette. Just, I want to kind of make a little more progress on that contour shade and also maybe try to use up this highlighter shade. It's a, this is a really mm, light highlighter. It's not really shimmery. It's kind of has a white base to it. So I, I think if you're any darker than me, that probably wouldn't work. Then keeping in the ColourPop teaspoon liner, trying to do something with that. And then the lipsticks, again, with that rotation deal, it'll take me a while to get through that. I, I will definitely not be able to get through that this month, maybe a couple more months. And then for eyeshadows, I am going to be using this palette. So this is just a, an empty magnetic palette. I talked about this in my project pan. So I got these recently. This is the Colored Rain palette that's supposed to hold 96 of the smaller pans, but I got big pans in here. Basically anything in here I can use. 
stuck my finger in that. But these are the Lunate Cosmetics Contour Palette, and the, these are the Makeup Geek shadows, and then all these at the bottom are Clarity Cosmetics. So I want to get some use out of those because they are newer. The Makeup Geek ones are newer as well, and then the Lunatic ones are actually pretty old. So I want to try to maybe use some of those if I remember before I, you know, if I remember to do it before I open this, because I'm probably just go with this other stuff over here that um, I'm kind of more used to using. So that was everything that I'm going to be using for August. Stay tuned for the next video. It's going to be my monthly Get Ready With Me using all this stuff. So check back for that if you're interested. And I'm uploading every Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. I always have to say that on my head. <laughs> it doesn't have quite the ring to it as like Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I didn't pick Monday, Wednesday, Friday because those are the days that I'm busiest with my business. So I didn't want to interfere with that. Give this video a thumbs up if that was interesting and subscribe so you don't miss any other ones. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.